Hey, John Fink here from Gamer HQ. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Auto Plugin to install several plugins that you might want to have that are very useful. First of all, if you haven't installed Auto Plugin, see our previous video on how to install it and come back to this one. Uh, you can open that in another window, or if you're intuitive enough, you can uh, go ahead and install it on your own if you, when you can find it on Google. So we're going to open up Auto Plugin, and this may take a moment. We're going to go into Plugins for Vita, Install Plugins. Now you're going to want Zero Sys Call 6 or you're going to want Refood. This is going to help you play backed up games that are decrypted, prevents it doing from uh, self checks and revokes uh, if the licenses don't match and stuff like that. Uh, so we're going to check that. Uh, if you didn't install Adrenaline using uh, the latest version, you usually have to do a double touch to start the application. You might want that one. Uh, if you don't, have that problem you don't need it you could always use a custom splash screen if you want download enabler is something you want gonna want it allows you to download files using the file uh, using the uh, internet browser so we mark that infinite net allows uh, you to prevent games from disabling your Wi-Fi access while you're playing games, so it will so it'll prevent it from interrupting your uh, your internet service. So you can keep downloading games or doing other things in the background. IO Plus is actually a pretty good one. It allows more IO operations in the user land space, uh, which is actually useful for games and such like that. You can uh, use Lolita or Lolicon uh, to overclock your processors. If you want, you're going to want no NPDRM and no PSM DRM as well. And you're going to want PSV VSH menu. If you're familiar with the PSP, the VSH menu is things that would allow you to overclock your processor, overclock your GPU, uh, check your frames per second and stuff like that. Like I said, if you don't, if you do install uh, the first plugin, you don't need to use Refood. Uh, although you could use Refood instead, but it operates just fine. Really, those are the uh, those are the plugins I recommend the most. Uh, Shellbat is another good one that allows you to see your battery status and the uh, percent of the status bar. Some of these I've showed you, this one I've showed you how to install already, uh, manually. Other than that, there's really not much. If you find other stuff in here that you'd like to install for stuff that you use, like you want to use your PS3 or PS4 controller, they have a plug-in for that uh, up here. But otherwise, what you can do is go ahead and, once you've marked all your packages, hit X to install them all. Now there's only one caveat, when you're doing the VSH, you have to do something manually, otherwise it's not going to work properly. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to back out, and we're going to exit, and your system's going to reboot. Once we re rebooted our Vita, we're going to want to go to Vita Shell or Molecular Shell. And you're going to want to go to your Taihen configuration directory. So we need to go to URO for people that are using uh, SD to Vita and URX Tai if you're not using USB to Vita. We want to open our config text. And what we want to do is add this line right here highlighted in green. If you don't do that, it's not going to work properly. So it's a uh, asterisk IPSPEMUCFW. And then you'll want to hit circle to back out. It's going to ask you if you want to save. You'll hit yes. You'll hit X to save that. And then once we've done that, we can hit the PlayStation button. We can go to settings, start, Hankaku settings, reload the tie hand configuration. Now, if all that's been done properly, for the final step for VSH, we can open any game. We want <clears throat> a 
and if you hold down when it boots up into the game when you hold down the left right trigger and hit select or start it's going to give you uh the vsh menu but we got to wait to get through into the game first as you can see we got our menu here go ahead and hit cancel on that we got our menu we can overclock our cpu our gpu and some people will ask if this will hurt your vita no uh some games actually do this natively uh to get better response back out of the system uh but it will drain your battery faster so you can see you can do nifty things like frames per second and all that and once you've done that and mess with it enough you can hit exit or if you have anything to do, you can uh, have to have to reload. You can restart VSH, and it'll restart the game to restart the settings. Um, but that's pretty much all there is to it. If you like what you saw, like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comments below. As for me, I'm out.